putting the onus of, of managing this 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 issue on the police is part of the problem that the, the inclusiveness issue in this in this region is not about fireworks night and it's not about curfews it is about the the general feel uh, of who belongs now in Detroit and who does not and those are the things that we need to be talking about not on fireworks night but but generally about how to change the tenor of what's happening in the city uh, and, and to put it all on the police department to say well you just can't do what you need, what you think you need to do on fireworks night is, is somewhat unfair because if something does happen right. on fireworks night, guess who's going to get blamed? Uh, it'll be DPD uh, for, for letting it happen or letting it get out of control, and it's a big crowd. I mean, if something does start to happen in the middle of that crowd, it's really hard oh, to respond. It's shocking that um, you can have a sexual assault on campus, and, the and it's reported to the college, and the college says, well, do you want us to call the police or do you want us to handle it? This is a serious crime. Uh, rape is a class one felony in Michigan and the state has multi layers of statutes to deal with all levels of sexual assault. The campuses, their first obligation when a crime is committed on their campus is to call the police. And we've got all of the, the, the politics around this issue now. Um, well, we, we, we don't necessarily want to call the police. We want, and the pressure from the government to, you know, close these the cases and get outcome. This is a crime. The, the police should be called in. It should be handled through the criminal justice system. Colleges aren't capable of doing investigations and prosecutions and meeting out punishments in a fair manner. We have laws to cover this, and we should be following.